<laughs> We're the fairies. I'm Purple Harmony with blonde hair. And I'm Pink Rhapsody with dark hair. <laughs> We're best fairy friends, but if you look at us, we're really quite the opposite. <laughs> I'm Wicked Wizard with a sad face. Battle. And I'm Barnaby the Busy Buzzy Bee. Hippy poppy, happy as can be. <laughs> happy and sad. Opposites. Opposites. <laughs> oh, opposite means very different, like hot and cold or wet and dry. Completely different, like long and short, low and high. I wonder if Minuet can warm up our bodies in a very upper city kind of way. <laughs> uh, Rhapsody, what does upper city mean? I thought we were talking about the word opposite. Just one of those fun little made up words that makes Fairyland an interesting place to be. <laughs> <laughs> opposite city. <laughs> Sounds delightful, Rhapsody. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, I'm sure that Minuet can warm us up in an opposite kind of way. <laughs> Why don't we all get warmed up together? Time to shimmy and shake and stretch. From the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Let's fly through the magical castle doors to Fairy Princess Minuet. <laughs> joining me in my fairyland dance studio. Come on, let's stretch our bodies and warm up our fairy muscles. Today, our warm up is full of opposites. Let's start the stretch by taking our hands up to the sky. That's the way. Now let's do the opposite and take our hands all the way to the fairy ground. Now let's make ourselves as big as we can. Arms and legs out as wide as they can go. Now let's do the opposite and make yourself as small as you can. How small can you go? Well done fairies. Now we're going to warm up our dancing feet. With some lovely points. And let's do the opposite by flexing our feet. Very good. We do this by digging our heels into the ground and pointing our toes to the sky. Now one last thing to warm up. Let's skip around in a circle with our hands on our hips. And now back in the other direction. What a great opposite warm up. Thanks for joining in. Princess Perfect. Big and small, black and white. 
Wow! Busy, buzzy, brilliant song. Well, Barnaby, if I was to take the opposite point of view, I'd say that that was a very bad song. Horrid, in fact. Actually, I think it was a whiz-bang amazing song. But if we're going to play the opposite game... Uh, well, if you're going to be like that... <laughs> another opposite. <clears throat> I am funny and interesting, <laughs> and Wizzy is not. I am funny and interesting. I'm uh, not. <laughs> Opposite like you and me, Barnaby. I'm a powerful and majestic wizard, and Barnaby, oh, he's just a buzzing bee. <laughs> like you're powerful and majestic. I am too. I'm uh, not. I'm uh, uh, not. I'm uh, not. I'm uh, not. I'm uh, not. I'm not. I'm not. Well, if we're going to have another opposite. Barnaby and Wizzy have opposite opinions. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> yes, we do. No, I don't. No, no we, yes, we, we do. We we don't. Oh, Wizzy. Oh, come what, on. What? It's, well, it's the opposite game. Oh, We're acting. Oh. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> well, I think that we should spend the rest of today trying to think of as many opposites as we possibly can. <gasps> like fast and slow. Um, black and white. Oh, uh, big and small. Wrong and right. <laughs> well, why don't we write to Cordeline the Clever Pixie and see if she can come up with fairy ten opposite things. Ooh. I wonder if she can think of that many. Special magic fairy wand, I need a little help. Please bring to me a fairy mail and a fairy pen as well. <laughs> Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, we are having an opposite day. <laughs> Can you think of fairy ten things that are opposite? Love, harmony, and rhapsody. <laughs> well, let's send it by fairy mail. <laughs> To have some fun. We'll jump and skip and stop and freeze. We'll shimmy a bit and use our knees. No to like butterflies, fly, fly, fly. I'll start jump just like stars in the sky. Fairy activity is fun to do. Fun for us and fun for you. On your feet, get moving. On your feet, get moving. Time. My name is Rainbow and we're going to have lots of fun in the Fairyland Dance Studio today. Come on everyone, off your chairs and on your feet. Or just give your bodies a really big fairy shake. Today we're going to play a game of Fairy Opposites. In this game of Fairy Opposites we have to move our bodies in lots of different ways. Hmm, let me think. We could move our bodies really fast and quick. Would you like to give it a try? How about you girls? Give your bodies a really big, fast and quick run around. Fan fairy tastic So what would be the opposite of moving fast and quick? <laughs> That's right, slow. Can everybody try and move in a slow way? Oh my fairy goodness. <laughs> you look like you're moving in slow motion. Wow, rainbow magic. Very good. Hmm, what's another way we can move? How about if we stretch our arms up to the sky and up on our fairy tiptoes? Can everybody stretch up high? <gasps> wow, fan fairy tastic. You're all very clever. Now, what would be the opposite to high? <laughs> That's right, down low. Can you move down low? <gasps> Rainbow magic. <laughs> That's very low moving, everybody. Hmm, there's got to be one more we can try. How about if we shake our hands in front of our bodies? Can you give your hands a really big shake? 
Very good. And what would be the opposite to in front, do you think? Yes, that's right, behind. Fan, very tastic. <laughs> well, we've had lots of fun playing opposites today. Maybe you'd like to play opposites sometime soon. <laughs> very goodbye. Opposite activity. Oh, I wonder if Clickety Clock knows about opposites. Oh, well, I guess it's sort of hard for the time to be opposite. Oh, there's only one way to find out. Let's ask Clickety Clock. dancing to opposites. Ooh. Let's all call for Fairy Princess Minuet after the count of Fairy 3. Fairy 1, Fairy 2, Fairy 3, Fairy Princess Minuet! Fairy hello girls and boys. It's time for Fairy Dancing Manners. Then, then, 